Good evening, I'm Alex Eady. The Indiana Supreme Court Disciplinary Commission is accusing State Attorney General Curtis Hill of professional misconduct following allegations he drunkenly groped a female lawmaker and three female legislative staffers at a bar. A special prosecutor denied in October to pursue criminal charges against Hill, who has denied wrongdoing. Hill has 30 days to respond to the commission's complaint. The Indiana Supreme Court will determine whether misconduct occurred and, if so, whether a sanction is appropriate. Bloomington residents and community stakeholders met today to give feedback on the latest updates to the city's Unified Development Ordinance. Representatives from consulting firm Clarion and Associates presented a number of proposed changes to the public, including creating a new zoning district specifically for student housing. The draft also requires that new developments near residential neighborhoods match the height of the nearest building within 50 feet. The final ordinance adoption process will begin in April. And Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton and his Democratic challenger Amanda Barge took part in a mayoral debate last night. Hamilton touted his successes during his term, including creating more affordable housing and improving water quality. Barge reinforced, reinforced her campaign agenda, which includes improving transparency and giving a voice to marginalized populations. If elected, Barge will be the city's first female mayor since 1994. Mayor John Hamilton is approaching the end of his first term. Now let's look at tonight's forecast. A low of 34 degrees and mostly cloudy tonight. Then looking ahead, Wednesday, showers and 51 degrees, then 50 degrees on Thursday, then that sunshine continuing into the end of the week, 55 on Friday, then warming up to 57 on Saturday. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org.